Okay, everyone. Um, my name is Mike Suryadi, a sales master. I just want to share my Atomy journey, how I ended up with Atomy and how I became a sales master in the beginning. So it was August last year, 2018, and I wasn't um, interested in doing any network marketing, especially MLM, right? So one night, a friend of us came to our house, just a regular chit chat, and then he, after the dinner, he brought out the, the box full of uh, Korean products and my wife really loves but the natural stuff so when they explain my wife right away bought some about 100 bucks worth of products so in the end and my friend told us that there's a uh, points uh, from this Admi products if we become a member once I heard the word member I know this is a MLM so right frankly I told them that we are not interested in doing uh, MLM especially uh, but for buying product is okay so long story short actually my wife got convinced to join because this is free and I got scolded by my wife why we are not why we're not supporting uh, their business because this is our one of our close friend so we ended up joining and actually it wasn't me it was my wife I told her if you want to do it don't involve me at all because this is your business and you use the product it's fine but if you want to run the business this is yours so the next week we actually uh, went to the center and met Ari over there and we were about to return one of the product because i thought one of the product was expensive it was a evening care set i didn't know because my wife used to buy stuff by her own i just i never check prices so i i don't know about how much the the female cleansing uh, products uh, price, right? So when I asked her, oh, this is $40 for a set. Okay, I thought this this was expensive. So I said, okay, just return it because uh, I don't want to be involved in network marketing products, right? Although the toothpaste, toothbrush was amazing, but we said, okay, you, you just use your own products and uh, ignore about the skincare of Atomy. And then my wife told me, you, are you crazy? Do you know how much I use for the foam cleanser of a sea shadow? It was $60 for just one tube. It's about 150 milliliter. And the Atomy one is only $10. $40, you get, you get the whole set, right? So long story short, I, got, I didn't um, return the product. And actually, I, I met one of the Indonesian leader, Ferdi, over there. And then he explained about how Atomy has grown up that fast and that they're going to open in Indonesia next two months in October 2018. It was August when I was there. So once he said that they're gonna open next uh, two months, my eyes just lit up because I know uh, once you are in the network marketing, you are most chance to be successful if you're the early adopter. It means when that country opens, you become the sponsor there and you build, you'll be likely most uh, successful easier. So that was I thought that time. So I didn't know about um, Atomy system. All I know is for this set, this is gonna open next two months. But okay, my background, I, I used to be in the, I think about a dozen different network marketing and none of them I, I succeed, not even a, a single penny or commission, right? So I thought that this was just another MLM, but after that um, meet up with Ari, I went home and then I Googled about Atomy. When I searched about the, the, the system, um, actually everything is so positive. And then one VOD from CEO Park that was really inspired me a lot. So I couldn't sleep like after I watched that video. So I thought to my mind that this business actually uh, will not just like top, like, most skillful people will be successful. I mean, literally everyone will be successful in Atomy if they know how to do the Atomy business and if they don't give up. So after that VODs, I created my my own uh, WhatsApp group I, because once after that, I keep recruiting almost every day, basically every day after I got home from work and I call all my contacts, my friend, my family back home because from that time, uh, you can start registering new members in Indonesia, but they cannot make a purchase. Uh, this is just making a network. 
So I basically I only sleep like three four hours every day because I keep calling my ex schoolmates, uh, university friends, everyone that I could think of from my phone book. So literally, I the first month I actually uh, it, my my group grew about hundred hundred members in a month. Then the next uh, the second month it grew to three hundred people. So it wasn't all about me, but how I inspire others to do the same. Because once you know the vision in anatomy, you can inspire others to do the same. So if it's all about me, then I'll 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 be pass out, right? So burn out. So how I inspire others, that's how they do it. And it keeps growing until they open uh, the next October 2018, then the market opens, right? So that was how my journey in Atomy uh, in the beginning. Then what really mo motivates me when, when I joined in August, the first one day seminar, it was in September, which is the next month I was invited by I don't remember it was Ferdy or Ari or maybe my sponsor. I don't, I don't recall, but I just went there just to see how Atomy was, right? So I went there and I uh, see all the leaders. Uh, it was, uh, it was a elder lady who was speaking in, in the uh, podium. So after that, I wasn't really interested in, you know, just to use the products and just to, share is okay but i wasn't meant to be to become a leader so i just want to okay i'll share it's no problem it's free anyway right so after i got home from the one day seminar in september i just kept doing what i was doing because i was aiming for the indonesian market open in october so the next month in october before uh, indonesia open i think two weeks before they open i went to the success academy i i went there because uh uh, one of my uplines, I don't remember, they said, if you want to succeed in Atomy, you have to go to the Success Academy because if you only go to a meetings or seminar, yes, you become a partner. But once you attend a Success Academy regularly, because it's only twice a year in Canada, once you attend one Success Academy in, in, in a year, then you will see the bigger vision of Atomy. So, okay, I'll prove it. I want to prove it. So I went there in October and I actually was sharing the my testimony and anatomy uh, during that success academy in October. So once I drafted my last scenario, I make my own goals, uh, become a mastership. Once I made all of those, then I decided that from today, I'm gonna make myself a leader in anatomy, right? So long story short, I worked it up really, really hard. In the first thing after that, I read a sales master in six months, I, I believe, right? After that success academy in October. So in May, I become a sales master and I keep sharing and I keep uh, learning uh, to become a good leader because you cannot be a good leader unless you are a good, a good tree, right? Just imagine like a good tree, but a good tree can grow from a good seed. So in order for others for uh, to do what you want it, you have to be that that person first, right? You cannot you cannot expect others to do what you don't want to do, right? Let, let's say the most simple thing is a seminar. If you if you yourself don't want to attend a seminar or a success academy, how can you expect your downlines to, to attend those uh, events? So you have to prove it to yourself that you are uh, deciding that you want to go to the next step. It's either a partner or a leader, it's your choice, but you have to make your own uh, decision. Right. I want to show you, uh, not show you, I want to explain about three things that that uh, I learned in doing the Atomy business. Right. So there are three parts, actually. The first one is, is network marketing hard? Right. The question is, is network marketing or MLM, is it, is it hard? The question is, uh, the answer is yes, it is hard, right? Even if you're working, I know some of my friends, they work two jobs, three jobs. Do you think they work hard in their job, right? Even they only get a fraction of what they, their value. Uh, you know, a lot of people just getting barely minimum wage and, and working really hard. And do you think it's not hard for them? Like imagine I, I wake up every morning at 6 in the morning, right? 6 a.m. I drive about almost two hours, one trip. 
and then come back same thing almost two hours and got home around 6 30. basically i'm 12 hours outside but every morning when i woke up it's very hard because my myself don't feel like going to work right but if i don't go to work i will not get paid so it is hard for doing a, a, a job right especially i'm not a full-timer in anatomy i'm just a part-time so i want to even with a part-time, I still can achieve my first mastership, uh, sales master, and I aim for the next uh, mastership, which is a diamond master next year, and Sharon Rose, end of the year next year. So I have to set the goal that I want to be successful, even though I'm doing Atomy just a part-time, right? So if the question is, is network marketing hard? Yes, it is hard. It's the same hard, or is it harder than the regular job? I think it's harder right because this is the business for all business is you don't expect any earning until you reach certain period right let's say you own a restaurant you, mostly people don't expect a break even point within that first three years once three to five years pass then yes you can make profit same thing in anatomy anatomy is a business if you don't feel like um, getting commission in the beginning or getting what you think that you're worth you have just have to keep doing it because this is a business you are building consumer base. But if your mentality is not really set to that business minded, uh, but on the other side, you're an employee minded, you are actually working eight hours, get paid eight hours, then yes, anatomy is not for you. But if you are a person that you think that even though I'm not making the money that I'm thinking I'm making in anatomy, but one day that you have faith and you keep doing and pursuing an enemy, you will achieve it, right? It's just a matter of time. If you have that mindset already set in your mind deeply, yes, you will achieve it like me. When I want to become a, a sales master, I didn't just lay back at home, scrolling Facebook, Instagram, no. I called my consumers, right? I barely like didn't sleep eight hours a, a, a day within that period and I called uh, all my donors in Indonesia, in US, and anywhere, right? So that's what you have to do. To become a successful anatomy. So my, that's the first one. How hard is network marketing? Yes, it is hard. But it's better if you are doing your own business as a network marketing rather than uh, you are working two jobs, three jobs, just making somebody else rich, right? You are actually making their dreams fulfilled, but not yours. So that's the first one that you have to set, that this is your business. You are actually doing it for yourself, not even for ourselves. We can inherit it to our children and their children, three generation. The next point is, the second one is, what you think now is, was right now that's easy, it used to be hard, right? Okay, let me, let me rephrase it again. What you think now is easy, it used to be hard. Like me, I came, um, I have three siblings, and my first oldest one is, uh, he's an imperial master in other network marketing. Why? Because he knows how to talk, and he knows how to sell. He knows how to uh, recruit. So he has all those three skills, right? But me, on the other hand, I'm the opposite. I don't know how to speak especially in front of uh, a lot of people not you just I, I haven't imagined even talking in front of 10 people's right but he is able to do it and i'm not able to sell i'm not good at sell i know how to sell but i wasn't really that good and the last one i'm not really good at recruiting right but what changes me is because you have to learn because everything is hard in the beginning like let's say a toddler when they want to uh, learn to walk what do they do they fall right? They stumble, they keep back up, try again and fall again. So in order for you to gain, you, you have to make failures. So failures is not a bad thing. It's actually a progress for you to going to the better uh, stage, right? So if you think this is art, that's okay. One day you will think that this is, this was, this is easy, like walk in the park. So enjoy the every moment that you are actually going through the hardship, right? or a hard time. Don't think that, okay, if this is hard, I'm just gonna uh, forget it. I'll do another business, right? 
If people ask me, do I get rejection? Yes, I get rejection every day. Do I get, you know, uh, talking negative about me? Yes, I got that, right? So it is very painful and you are ordered for you to grow, but it's also once you fulfill that, you will have that reward mentality. You will have that satisfaction in order once you achieve that goal. Then the last one, the third one is, and usually looking good and getting better, it is very difficult at the same time, right? Okay, let me say again. It is very difficult to get better and look good at the same time. What does it mean? In the beginning, when I was uh, spreading, sharing the Atomy uh, products, I wasn't trying to look as a leader. W what did I mean by that? So at my church, because basically 50% of my members, they are from my church, right? So in order for me to grow my, my network and my consumer base, what did I do? I share about the Atomy product, but they don't want to order themselves. So I have to order for them. So every week, every Sunday, I have to bring tens of plastic bags full of Atomy products. So definitely I don't look very good. Like I know some of them, they said, look at Mike, he's a shampoo seller or, or skincare seller. I don't care because I, I'm not trying to look good, but I'm trying to get better in, in, in growing my networks, right? So if you think that you want to look good, while also get better, it's very hard, trust me. So you have to sacrifice one or the other. Either you don't want to get better or you wanna look good. So it's either one, right? So that is very most common in my, uh, my group, also my downlines, they're saying, Mike, I don't wanna to share about Atomy. What if uh, they reject uh, me when, when I'm sharing the Atomy? It feels like I, I'm embarrassing, right? It make me look bad. So those kind of mentality, so they don't have any business mentality in there themselves. So in order for you to go to the next step, steps is you have to grow and get better, right? But on the other side, don't try to look better or look good while you're doing that. So those are my, my suggestion and also my sharing about my, my journey in anatomy. And I know my, my path uh, ahead is not straight yet. So it's, there are a lot of obstacles, but I don't find them as an obstacle, but I look at them as an opportunity to grow better, right? Once you set, once you decide that you want to take this, because network marketing is also, also another profession, just like you're working in the bank or in the, uh, dent, being a dentist, network marketing is just basically another profession, right? You have to be good at what you're doing then you can see a result of that.